Kyle, kind of just kind of when you when you watch the tape, anything jump out at you? Just too many mistakes. I mean, on every play, there's something here, something there, and uh, just me personally, I think I had a mistake on probably 75 percent of the play. So we just got to come back and, and fix that. Is that surprising to you that it went like it did? Uh, it was. It wasn't surprising. I wouldn't say it was surprising because I mean, it was our first AC road game, but uh, we definitely expect to play a lot better. But you know, we didn't play near as well as we wanted to, but. The sky is not falling. I mean, the, today still came, so we just got to get better, and we still have 10 games left. How tough is it to, to deal with a game like that? Because, I mean, growing up, every, you, know, you guys all were really good. I mean, you probably never had to deal with a game like that. How tough is it to, to kind of try to deal with it, but also try to put it behind you, too? Um, it, it's pretty tough to deal with, just to know that, just us knowing that we're a lot better than that. that our team is a lot more talented than we showed, so. Uh, like I said, we just got to come back and kind of fix all those mistakes. Like we had, we had more mistakes at Clemson, and we had some more Mississippi State. So we just got to fix those because we know in that C play, if, if you have too many mistakes, you're gonna lose. You said mistakes on probably about 75% of your plays. If you could kind of round all those mistakes up and see a common trail, what were the the, the most regular mistakes that you had? Probably just watching the rush. I mean, because I, I knew they had a good a good defensive front coming in. And I would drop back and I would kind of lead my drop and just kind of watch the rest a little too much. And that caused me to throw errant balls and make mistakes. And that's why I probably had those three picks. Is it hard to get over that, doing that? Um, well, I mean, it is the first time I've ever been through like playing, playing like that, probably that bad. So it's something that uh, is kind of new for me. But I think that um, today I'm just ready for the U ULM game to get here. I mean, they, they beat a good Arkansas team this past week. So, so our supposed to be cakewalk is kind of turned into a real game, so we're really looking forward to that. But is it hard to get over looking at the rush? Is it hard to get yourself Oh, no, doing that? not at all. I mean, that's just something that I, I've never done that before. I just did it this week. Just I don't, I don't even know why I did it, but that's something that I can easily correct. How big was it for you last night? We, we, we saw D kind of come over and kind of talk to you a little bit coming off the field, I'm sure some other guys. But how important is it that you got defensive guys, offensive guys that have come to you guys and, and just said, hey, it'll be all right, just keep working. It's huge. I mean, just another have the support of the guys on the team. I, I mean, I take a lot of responsibility for that loss, but, you know, the guys on the team, they're saying, hey, uh, it's not all your fault, even though whenever I, I felt pretty bad about it. But, you know, those guys are still supporting me. It's a very, very small sample size, only two games. But, obviously, some, a lot of your offensive statistics are, are pretty pretty low nationally. Are, are you aware of some of that? I mean, I'm, you're aware of what you see on tape, but are, are you aware nationally of, of where things are right now for you? No, we, I don't I don't really like read, read the news or anything and see where other quarterbacks are or anything like that, but I just know that my play has to be a lot better. Well, wh whatever the rankings are, I mean, my play has to improve a lot. What's the, I mean, you got teammates, parents who stand up for you. What's the best thing advice you've gotten from this game? Mm. Well, I just well today we had to watch the tape and learn from it. Just see what you did and fix that. If you correct that and go to next week, then you'll have less mistakes. And the mistakes I make next week, I have to correct those. And by the end of the season, I shouldn't be making too many. How hard was it to watch? I wouldn't say it was hard to watch. It's nothing like a like a anything that we'll look back and be like, hey, that was the, like the worst game ever. But. It's something that we can definitely improve from. Just watching the tape and seeing what we did wrong, it's, it's a lot that we can improve on. Beyond improvement, uh, improving and uh, improving certain categories, are there certain goals you're looking to attain in, in a game? Are there a completion percentage number, a yardage number, a touchdown number, something tangible that you're looking to achieve? There's nothing like really set goals, but Coach gave us the statistics like if you complete this many balls, then you have this so and so percent chance of winning. So uh, we would definitely like to kind of hit that mark, but. Other than that, it's not really any real attainable goals that we set. What is that? Maybe one more. Probably, if you p complete, I think he says 70% of the balls, you'll win 60, 75% of the time. And so I definitely have to do that just to give our team a better chance of winning. Thanks, 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 Thanks. 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 Thanks.